Hi, my name is Sharon Bridgeforth, and I'm here to offer this week's That Black Mermaid Man Lady Oracle reading. Um, if you saw last week's reading, um, and if you haven't seen it, you can see it. It's, it's on this same uh, YouTube channel. Uh, David, in talking about and responding to the horrific events that happened in Orlando and that happened daily around the world, uh, David spoke about purpose and in aligning with our purpose, um, us telling the truth and reminding us that what we circulate, we get back. And so David encouraged us to circulate our treasures and not our rage. And um, in the My Two Cents uh, video series, which is also on this page, um, I talked a little bit more about that and examples that people have given us around how to root ourselves in love so that indeed what we are circulating is rooted in love and therefore the greatest possibility for change as opposed to our rage, which um, is kind of like an infectious disease really. Um, as righteous as our rage is and as much as it is instructive, when we root in it, um, it can be very problematic for ourselves, for our bodies, and for our work and our intentions and the world. Um, and I bring that up to say that there's a full moon on Monday, and it is a particularly powerful full moon. And so the full moon is always an opportunity to release and expand. Um, but I encourage you to lean into your knowledge about uh, moon cycles and or research this particular full moon and um, work with it. Um, this would be a good time for um, sea salt baths, for basking in the full moon, for uh, whatever it is that you do to release um, so that you, so that we, so that I, so that all of us can be more deeply um, centered, rooted, and focused in our divine power. So with that, without further ado, let's see what the mermaids want us <laughs> to know this week. All right, so I'll pull three cards. Um, this is an ancestor deck, um, so it's all about love. It is an ocean deck, so it's about what's below the surface, okay? So here we go. Oh, Lordy. All right. Let me get my glasses. All right. Beginning of the week. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, Caney Sharp. <laughs> Divine opportunity. Uh, right away, I feel like that has to do with um, releasing and clearing and becoming more ourselves. With this full moon, the beginning of this week, we have the divine opportunity to be more ourselves, to be more powerful, to be more um, activated in who we are and what we're meant to do in the world. Interesting. Old Caney Sharp is also talking about the truth. So the truth, I feel, is a powerful tool right now. Old Caney Sharp says, what is the truth? <laughs> he says, let your questions go. You ain't got to know. You think's too much. That's why you stuck. Get on up and fly. All right. I feel like what O'Kaney Sharp is offering us is a reminder that sometimes we need assistance that is outside of our intellect that is more powerful than we are, that is you know, infinite love, God, uh, Buddha, um, Allah, um, you know, whatever it is that you name it, that higher power. And again, with the full, with this particular full moon, um, we, we can line up and with the portals that um, outside of ourselves connect us more deeply to ourselves. So, oh, Caney Sharp, just say, get on up and fly. Um, stop thinking so God dang much <laughs> and um, tell the truth and that is a divine opportunity okay middle of the week that black mermaid man lady okay in the world of this piece that black mermaid man lady is the one that is not actually an ancestor it is a force of nature it is that one that is holding our power um, it's holding us 
um, without the veils of time, ourselves before, ourselves in the future, ourselves now, our souls. It's holding our ancestors, it's holding our literal wealth, it's holding our collective power. And we have the opportunity to seat ourselves and move from that place. And that Black Mermaid Man Lady speaks about the mystery of that. And that Black Mermaid Man Lady is actually connected with the full moon, so this makes sense. Um, it says, pay attention to your dreams. That Black Mermaid Man Lady with she, he, blue, black dress and fishes and pearls come by our dreams. Leave trails of sand and seaweed wet in the night. Um, so this is a time to pay attention to your dreams. If you're like me, you might be a daydreamer. Um, I feel like I receive dreams in my awakened state um, as well as in the night. Um, I don't remember the ones in the night as well, and when I do, they're particularly significant, but I receive a lot of dreams in the daytime. So whatever it is, however it is that you um, connect and receive dreams, pay attention. and. I feel like that Black Mermaid Man Lady is talking about a collective dreaming, um, that we are connected to our um, united selves in our dreams. Our souls know. So pay attention to your dreams, and, I've, and that gives us the opportunity to move with divine grace um, in service of what is best for all of us. And end of the week, also, that Black Mermaid Man Lady. So they're talking about this full moon, y'all. That Black Mermaid Man Lady, at the end of the week, says, sit with the ancestors. That Black Mermaid Man Lady, come to me in my dreams. Take my hands, pull me down, down, down to the bottom of the ocean. At the very bottom, I see things. And so it is an invitation to sit with the divine collective wisdom that is already a part of us. They've already done the work. They are with us. They love us. They're supporting us. They're trying to talk to us. Pay attention to your dreams. Sit with the ancestors, the divine ancestors, all right? Be supported in what the truth is and get on up and fly, all right? Love you. See you next week. Bye-bye.